Hey guys, it's the book nerd. So I wanted to give you guys kind of like an Easter present and I didn't know what to do. So I looked up online Easter book tags and the chocolate book tag popped out and I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And then I was like, no, I'm too tired. So I'm actually, I'm doing it today. Um, so here we go. So dark chocolate, a book that covers a dark topic. Um, I think the darkest book I've read was um, sorry, I'm just looking off into the distance. I should be looking at you. Hi. So, the darkest book I read was Every Secret Thing, Every Secret Thing by Laura Lipman. Um, and it was about, like, murder, and, and it was a crime book, and it was about, like, kids, murdering kids, and it was just, it was just weird. Um, and then also Best Seller by Christopher Knight. It's about this crazy guy that wants to, like, kill this book editor, book publisher, and I want to be a book publisher so that was really scary for me. Wait Chocolate, your favorite lighthearted, humorous read. So I like Rainbow Rowell and since I didn't have like my actual favorite book that she writes where it's um, it's fangirl, it's on the back, we can pretend it's here, which was really lighthearted and humorous. But Eleanor and Park, I don't know, I guess it's it's lighthearted enough and it's a romance and through it I was kind of like, aww, and I was I was into it. I really like Rainbow, Roel and all of that. Even John Green likes Voitzer, or at least this book, but definitely if I could I'd choose Fangirl. So Milk Chocolate, a book that has a lot of hype that you're dying to read. I'll just hold these up. I'm waiting for the crown so bad. I just, I want it. I want the crown and I only have these three and the, the thingy after the one. But I have it on order. I pre-ordered it. It will be here in May and I'll be able to like, I'm gonna read the whole series. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. So good. And this is also my Chocolate with a Caramel Center, a book that makes you feel all gooey in the middle while you're reading it. There was some fangirl shipping, like, screeching with these books. I was ridiculously, like, I worried my family because I was just laying in my room screeching and loving it. And it, ugh, I'm a mess. But, yeah. I love them. They make me feel all soft and gooey. Soft and gooey inside. Alright, so this one, okay, this isn't the exact book, but it's the first one to this, which is The Red Queen. The ending, no spoilers, but the ending surprised me so bad. I was like, screaming in my room. It was ridiculous. And I started the glass sword and I'm slowly getting into it. But yeah, like this is yeah. Red Queen by the same author. Okay, a book that you're going nuts about. I guess, I guess I could have grabbed The Mortal Instruments, I wasn't thinking about it. Um, I, I'm going crazy about that whole series and I'm going nuts and I'm, I'm reading it like crazy. You know what? I have the next book that I have to read right here in my bag. Cause I had left. Yeah, City of Fallen Angels. I'm, I'm nuts about it. I just, I want to dig in, but I have other books that I have to read with holds. I'll get to you. I promise. Okay, hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows. A book that you would turn to for a comfort read. Mine would be Pandemia, and it's a um, yeah. novel about the bird flu in the end of the world. It's apocalyptic and dystopian. Um, and I got to meet the author, Jonathan Rand and Christopher Knight. Spoiler, same person. Um, but it's set in like where I'm from in Michigan and it talks about my city and all of that. It's just, oh, it's so good. And I've like read it over and over and over and over again and I need to reread it again. 
And last but not least, a box of chocolates. And I immediately just thought of Forrest Gump where it's like, life is like a box of chocolates. But a what series have you read that you feel has a wide variety and something for everyone? Harry Potter. It's got funny. It's got fighting. It's got epic. It's got magic. It's got good characters. It's got good setting. It's... It is a series for everyone. Every age. Like, my mom started reading it to me when I was, like, a baby. And now I'm obsessed with it. But, yeah. Definitely. Definitely Harry Potter. So I know that I was totally unprepared for this. And I have no idea how to edit. So, sorry if my videos are shitty. It's the first time I swore. <laughs> Um, but, oh my gosh, this is a big pile. Well, really big pile. Mm -hmm. So, happy Easter, everyone. I hope you all get a lot of chocolate and books, because, you know, that's how you do it. Should I do it? Uh. Bye. Love you guys. I, that just got really awkward. Happy Easter. <laughs>